and welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is a very special day because it is both my 30th birthday and Thanksgiving and I'm hosting Thanksgiving today so there's a lot of things going on. It is Thursday, November 24th, 2022 and it was my first day of my 30s <laughs> which is totally crazy to think about but like I said, I am so excited about what this new decade is going to bring and I'm really happy to be in my 30s. And so I think just like a great way to kick that off was hosting Thanksgiving, which is what's happening today. I'm so excited to have my family and Lyle's family here and we've been prepping for this for weeks. <laughs> so yeah, I can't wait to get the table all decorated. Um, so my family came in yesterday my parents are staying in a hotel nearby, and then my brother's staying here with us, sleeping on the couch. And um, Lyle's family, of course, lives in New York, so everyone's going to come by around 3 o'clock p.m. today, and we're going to have appetizers, and we're going to get going on the turkey and the mashed potatoes and the stuffing and the <laughs> cranberry sauce and everything else. It's going to be really great. Of course, also with my job, one thing, another thing going on today that I didn't mention is that it's Cyber Week and my job, <laughs> this is the busiest time of year for my job. So it's like my birthday, Thanksgiving, family here, cooking, and I have to be working. So today is just like a lot, a lot, a lot going on. Um, but we'll get through it <laughs> and it'll, I think it'll turn out to be a really nice day. So I hope that nothing's too crazy with work, but um, I do have a work call at 10 a.m. that I need to hop on. It's 9.21 a.m. right now. I need to hop on a work call. And we're also going to head to Whole Foods real quick just to pick up some last minute things for the big Thanksgiving day.
happening. We've got the turkey in the oven. We've got the stuffing is made. We've got Lyle's working on some sweet potato casserole. I just did the baked brie. And I wanted to show you, oh, and I set the table and it looks all pretty. Okay, I wanna show you guys what it looks like. I feel like this just looks like a very New York City Thanksgiving. <laughs> um, I just love this view. But so we have these plates that Lyle's mom actually gave us. They're really beautiful. This is what it says on the back. So we have this and then I put the silverware on each side. These napkins are from Amazon and I will leave them linked. Same with the napkin rings and these bread and butter plates also on the side. And then we have a water glass. These are from Crate and Barrel, a wine glass. And then I got these gold candlesticks as well, which I'll leave linked and the actual candles themselves. And then same thing on this side because it's gonna be 10 people just waiting on the plates to arrive from Lyle's parents for this side and then um, the chairs as well. We've got some just like fold out chairs. Oh, and these tablecloths also got as well from Amazon. I'll leave them linked. And this <laughs> butter dish is from Mackenzie Childs. Love it, it's so pretty and floral. And then these two salt and pepper shakers also from Mackenzie Childs, they're shaped like squirrels. <laughs> and I absolutely love them. So it's two o'clock p.m. now. Lyle's family is going to be here at three, so in about an hour, and I'm gonna get start getting the charcuterie board ready, and then it's all gonna happen. I'm building a charcuterie board. <laughs> so I've got cheeses. We have a camembert, a manchego, a gouda, and a goat cheese. I've got three different types of crackers. This is a sourdough flatbread that's rosemary and olive oil. This is just an original water cracker. And then this is some other crackers that we found. I've got some fig jam. I've got some mixed nuts, some dried cranberries grapes and some blackberries oh and then a baguette as well of course i'm trying to think if i got anything else but i think that this should be good song you'll ever hear. Go ahead. I love it. I love it too. Nate Rose.
know the cash and hang gets caught up in the courtyard sweeps. These are days it does not pay to wonder where the madmen sleep. Good ones work their way to gold and twice as hard to find. Cancel checks and lousy sex will leave a body blind. Thanksgiving is over. I am <laughs> I'm happy, so happy about it. I'm glad that it's over. I'm glad that it went really well. I can stop stressing <laughs> about it. But I felt like we pulled it off and everyone was happy. I think everyone had a good time. It was really great to get my family and Lyle's family, like our parents and our brothers <laughs> together to meet. Um, we've, they've met one other time at least the parents, but we um, we were in like kind of a loud restaurant, so not everyone got to talk to everyone, but it was good to be just kind of like in a setting like this uh, where they could all sort of get to know each other a little bit more. <laughs> um, so yeah, all the food went well. There were only two or three, I would say, actually uh, mishaps, but I don't think it would be a typical family Thanksgiving if there wasn't some sort of a mishap <laughs> in some way. And yeah, oh, and then we ended the night with a really, in a beautiful way, which was that Lyle's brother, Nate, or Nathan, is a musician, and he, I'll put his Instagram or something, but it's, he, uh, his last name is Zub, and so that's sort of like, <laughs> the name that he performs under his Instagram is It's a Zub, and he's really talented, and we made him, we, <laughs> we made him play guitar, um, and he did, and he sang, and it was really beautiful. Um, and Lyle sang a song with him too, so it was just really nice, um, and it was, and it was fun. So yeah, everything worked out, and then today, so my, my parents are, are staying here through the whole weekend, they're leaving Sunday, and same with Ryan, he's here on the couch, <laughs> sleeping until Sunday, and today is Black Friday, so yeah, I have just been... I woke up at 8 something to get on the computer and start doing work. Um, I answered some emails for my clients and then I have a call that I'm supposed to join at 10 but it's really only if things are out of whack and all my stuff is in a good place so um, technically I don't have to join and um, since my family's here and stuff I think I'm, I'm just gonna skip out on it. Um, I have joined other ones though but anyways um yeah so there's that and i'm trying to think what else oh yeah i want to do some black friday shopping but i'm also like 
I don't want to force myself like I feel like there's this expectation on Black Friday that it's like you have to buy all the stuff because it's on sale and it's like stuff that you weren't already planning to buy anyways I might see if there's anything like gifts I can get for Christmas just, you know just to get get it out of the way and get a good deal so I might check on that later <clears throat> but for now I'm just gonna do a little bit more work and then my parents are on their way here and then I'm thinking, I don't know if this is what we're going to do, but Lyle and I's idea was to take them to Union Square because they usually do like a whole Christmas market there. So that'll be really nice. And yeah, that's kind of the plan for the day.
Hello everyone. So good morning. It is Saturday now. It's funny because it feels like it must already be Sunday or almost Monday now because it's been such a long weekend. But yeah, today is Saturday and we have fun plans today. We're going to see Hamilton. I just finished getting ready. I totally didn't know what to wear, but I put on this a dress from Zara and then this top underneath from Cezanne I believe yeah it was Cezanne and I just threw my hair back into a ponytail but yeah yesterday was really nice we did so many things in one day like we did the holiday market and then we ended up doing an escape room which was really cool and then walked up fifth avenue and we ended the day at lyle's family's apartment on the upper west side and we all had carmines and it was great to <laughs> have my family there and his family there uh, together again and uh yeah today we're just sort of taking it easy we're about to go to we're about to leave and go meet my parents at Katz's Deli. Very, very classic New York uh, historical location. They're famous for these like sandwiches that are super thick. So that'll be fun. We're going to do that for lunch. And then we're just going to head up to head up to go see Hamilton. So that'll be super fun. And then we have to figure out a place for dinner after that. We actually still haven't figured out where we're going to dinner. Oh, I got this new phone case so there was a girl that i met in paris actually who was super cool her name is jen bachter and uh she's on instagram and she was basically like promoting these phone cases and so i bought one and i think it's really cute because i love my one that i had the like emily in paris one but the paint was starting to come off um but i love that this one is just a plain white with a pearl very classy and yeah and then my lipstick today, I actually really like it. It's like a soft sort of uh, pink. And this is one of my classic colors from Chanel. It's Sensibility. I will leave it linked. It's just been the best weekend really it actually this whole weekend turned out so much so much better and so much more fun and so great than I had imagined that it was going to not that I imagined it was going to be bad but I just I it was really great having my family here and especially getting my family to meet Lyle's family and um, well meet again and it's just it was really 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 great to get everyone together and we did so many fun things <laughs> and my family just left about an hour or two ago they caught the bus um back up to new hampshire but um yeah and my brother caught a ride with his friend back up to boston and yeah now it's just me lyle just ran to um to make a return real quick but yeah I just I don't know I'm really happy 
what did we do so okay i think last time i talked to you was yesterday when we went to hamilton which was fun so yeah we went to hamilton and i really really enjoyed it i had watched it prior on netflix with the original cast and i thought that it was really good and then seeing it in person was just something else of course uh i always realize when i go to broadway shows that i don't do that enough it's funny it's one of those things that i always thought that if i ever lived in new york that oh i would go to broadway shows all the time and you know but it just isn't the case but every time i go i'm like wow i really enjoyed that so i kind of want to try to go more often um, so yes, it was really great. And then after that, we just, we, we, we decided that we wanted Thai food. And so we found a place called Viv, maybe like a five minute walk from where the theater was. And we really enjoyed it. We had some appetizers and some drinks and our main courses. I don't know. It, the food was really good. And they had this thing where you could get a free Thai iced tea, which I really like Thai iced tea. So that was when I did that and yeah I'm trying to think what else oh and then we just came back here and we had a bottle of champagne we just like cheers to a great weekend and ate some leftover birthday cake and then yeah this morning my my um, parents came back over just for breakfast and Ryan was obviously here my brother's name is Ryan I don't know if I've talked about my brother that much on here but yes I have a brother and um, we just made pancakes and for them and then we sent them off so I, I've been eating leftovers I've been cleaning up this is my brother I gave him this whole you know setup comforter like sheets pillows and stuff for him sleeping on the couch so I'm gonna wash this all in a bit but I have behind me two very pretty pink boxes with these white ribbons on them and I don't know if anybody recognizes these but there is a YouTuber uh, <laughs> Freddie my love who obviously did Flossie by Freddie and I absolutely love her um, watching her channel it's such <laughs> so much fun and I I always tell you guys about every single YouTuber that I watch that I absolutely love like Josie the um, fashion mumbler I love I love Naomi Smart. Oh, I've talked a lot about Kylie Flavel. Love her too. I love her recipes. So many people. Um, I could go on and on. So, anyways, she released a new collection, and I got two dresses. So I thought that I would unbox them with you. These are just like so pretty. Like the packaging, everything she did. Ooh. Okay, this is the the plaid dress. I can feel that it's very, very thick. Feels like a really good quality. It's got this fun little tool at the bottom and a pretty belt. I ordered my usual size, so I will I will let you guys know how it fits. Okay, so this is the next one. This one is super uh, preppy. This is like very gossip. Oh, wow, the fabric is such good quality. Yeah, so it's like this. It reminds me of like maybe Blair playing tennis on Gossip Girl. I don't know. Let me put the two dresses on. <laughs> oh, you know what? Actually, this reminds me a lot of my skirt from in other stories that I've been wearing today. This I got like a while ago. All right. So here is the dress on and apologies again. <laughs> Ignore the mess behind me it's been a long weekend but yeah I think it's really cute it's definitely made for the winter because it's super thick and warm I love there's on the inside it's like this silky pink fabric and it's so soft it, this is very comfortable um so only thing I'll say about it the straps here they're a little bit too far in for me like I don't I think it's just because I have wide shoulders so maybe this works for most people but um, for me something about it just feels like it should be like a half an inch or like even just like a couple centimeters um, further out and then then it would have been perfect and I think with the cape it'll definitely be even cuter so I can't wait for that to come in the mail I have this one as well 
it's like an off-white turtleneck that's ribbed which I also feel like would be very cute underneath all right and then this is the second one I also think that it's very adorable I just think again on the top is the only part that I would change um, so you can't actually undo the like these aren't real buttons it's just a stripe it's not like a real shirt so you can't like undo it here or anything it's just like you have to wear it buttoned all the way up that's it and it's very preppy and it's a very specific look yeah I think with a pair of little tennis shoes uh, all right, so now we are going to go see um, a movie. I'm going up with Lyle and um, his brother Nate wanted to see a movie. It's like one of the new, it's part of a, like a series. <laughs> oh, and uh, it's raining, like really, really raining. So I'm going to throw on this trench coat that I got in Paris and these, I just threw on these pink pants from Cezanne. They're actually really, really comfortable. I like them. And uh, yeah. movie was good by the way it was called the glass onion it was really funny and kind of like a murder mystery it was nice and yeah we just came back and now it is dark outside and it is the evening so I guess I'm going to end the vlog here I really hope that you enjoyed watching it I hope that everyone who celebrates had a great Thanksgiving and pretty soon it'll be vlogmas so i'm really excited for that so definitely make sure that you're subscribed so that you don't miss that and check out the fashion scroll as well over on instagram and hopefully i will see you guys next time okay bye